Hi, I'm Greg Trice, Garden Center Buyer for Adams Ferryker Farms. And our staff of gardening experts is here with one goal in mind, helping you grow a better garden. Starting seeds indoors is a simple project. You just need to be aware of four things. You've got to have the right soil, the right water, the right temperature, and of course, proper lighting. Every seed packet has vital information as to when to sow your seeds, for instance, how many weeks before the last frost date in your area, and also it's going to tell you how many days or weeks it takes for the seeds to germinate. Once you've chosen your favorite flower or vegetable seeds, the next most important thing is soil. I recommend a lightweight mix like this, which is made from vermiculite, peat moss, and perlite. I also recommend watering the soil before you start. Lightweight soil has a lot of air pockets in it and you want to wash that air out so the seeds don't get washed out when you put them in your seed starting flats. So how do you know when you have the right amount of moisture in your soil? It's easy. Just pick up a handful and squeeze it. If water comes rushing out, that's too much. If your soil ball falls apart when you hold it up, that's not enough water. Next, we're going to take that soil and put it into a container to start the seeds. Simply take a handful of soil, fill up the container, and don't worry if you put too much in because you can just wipe it off. Take another container of the same size and gently press it down. That's going to give you some space to put the seeds in so they can grow. Now we're going to take our seeds and the way we're going to sow chives is we're just going to put a whole bunch of seeds in each little cell. Chives grow in clumps so it doesn't matter how many seeds you put in because they don't need to be separated. Now we're going to sow the seeds and then cover them with a little bit of soil. Wipe off any excess and now you're ready to label your seeds. On one side of the label, write down what it is that you're growing. On the other side, write down the date you started the seeds and write underneath that about how many days it takes to germinate. That's important so you'll know how your seedlings are progressing. Put the label in the tray, and now you need to move your seedlings to a place where it's going to be nice and warm. We're not talking about air temperature, we're talking soil temperature. 74 to 78 degrees is ideal for seed germination. As soon as your seedlings germinate, they need sunshine. A southern window, a western window, an eastern window are just perfect places for seeds. They'll get a lot of sunshine and they'll grow strong and sturdy. I love